So you might be wondering, what is this hypnosis? And is it something that could help you? First of all, hypnosis and hypnotherapy are two different things. Hypnosis is an altered state of consciousness. We all actually experience hypnosis every single day. Daydreaming, forgetting parts of your car journey, losing yourself in a good book. This is all self-hypnosis. Our subconscious mind utilizes this trance state as a stress reliever. When you're daydreaming, you start thinking things like, I must give Steve a ring. I wonder why she said that. What was that tone of voice for? I wish I'd said that now. Your subconscious mind is analyzing and putting things into a logical order and also reminding you of things to do. De-stressing. Your mind is always de-stressing you. And this is why we daydream. Hypnotherapy is the use of hypnosis as a therapy to offer the person suggestions on a subconscious level to enable these people to fulfill their goals and aspirations. By changing the way you think, you can change your limiting beliefs, your behaviours and your inner well-being. To actually experience hypnosis, it is to actually experience a wonderful state of deep relaxation that has many potential benefits. Hypnosis has been given a bad reputation in the past. For many years, thanks to TV, media, and even some stage hypnotists. And this has created unnecessary fears. No one can make you do anything you don't want to do. You will not be dredging up old wounds or digging up skeletons out of the closet. All hypnosis is self-hypnosis. And throughout you remain in 100% control. Hypnosis is completely safe and it is not mind control. You have the free will to accept or reject the positive suggestions offered to you. Many healthcare professionals, including our National Health Service, are utilising hypnotherapy and guided imagery techniques as a treatment for many conditions. In the past, some people would question if hypnosis even exists. But now, thanks to modern science, we can actually see deep into the brain, proving that hypnosis actually works. Hypnotherapy can be applied to the fields of medical conditions and also behaviour change. Everybody can be hypnotised, except for the following. Someone with a severe learning disability, or someone who is intoxicated by drugs or alcohol, or someone with severe dementia, or is cognitively impaired. But also, someone that does not want to be hypnotised. You can't force anyone to do something they don't want to do. You can't even force someone to relax either. So if you're willing and want the changes, then all you need to do is sit back and relax. And once you relax, this allows your subconscious mind to open up, to allow the positive suggestions to unfold. Hypnotherapy has an endless amount of possibilities. My name is Neil Woods, and I'm a clinical hypnotherapist. And if you want to find out how I can help you, then please arrange a free consultation with me by calling one of the numbers below or by simply filling out the contact me form. Thanks for watching.